This week, there was a possible threat to air travel, 5G deployment from AT&T and Verizon at major U.S. airports. The wireless carriers agreed to delay 5G rollout at certain airports, but that's only a temporary fix. Bill Hensley is an aviation expert and retired Air Force pilot, and he is here now to break all of this down for us. Thanks so much for making the time for us this weekend. My pleasure, Rudeme. Thank you for having me. So for those of us who know nothing about this, why is 5G a concern near airports? Okay, here's uh, the very simple explanation. There's an instrument that's on all airliners and many other aircraft, general aviation aircraft as well, called a radar altimeter. It's a, it's a very efficient instrument. It's been invented uh, in the 1920s and improved all the way along the line. Basically, it uses uh, radar signals, radio signals, from the aircraft to the ground when the airplane is around 2,500 feet and below. And it tells the uh, pilots and it tells the computers how far the airplane is above the ground. And this also affects uh, crucial systems, collision uh, impact systems. It affects thrust reverser stopping systems on the airplane. And the issue with 5G C-band frequencies is that they are very close to the frequencies that are used by the radar altimeters. And thus the concern by airlines, manufacturers, and pilot associations that interference from these signals could result in bad information getting to the pilots and the computers on the airplanes. That's why we're concerned. That, that is an understandable concern. But there is 5G at major air travel hubs in dozens of foreign countries. They haven't reported any major problems. What's different here in the U.S.? That's a really good point to bring up, and that's true. Uh, there are reports that in the other countries, the 5G signals are at a different power. They're at a lower power setting so as to not really disrupt the radar altimeter signals. But in the United States, as you well are aware, we've had CEOs of, of, of 10 airlines, we've had pilots associations, as well as Boeing and Airbus, manufacturers of most of the airplanes that we fly on, indicate that they're concerned about interference uh, from 5G C-band signals. So because they're concerned, you and I need to be concerned. And this is a confusing issue to break down, depending on who you talk to, that the information seems to be different. So the FAA cleared nearly 80% of all commercial jets to land in some of these areas of concern. So how do we square that? How, and what needs to be done to get it actually done? What needs to happen? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a very good point. Here's, here's the mystery. Okay? Here's the mystery that I'm concerned with. Why the brinksmanship? Why waiting to the last moment? As you recall, the, the CEOs of the major airlines put out a letter just a day or two before uh, AT&T and Verizon were going to activate the 5G C-band towers. So the problem that, that many of us are wondering about is why not when the licensing auction took place and when AT&T and Verizon and some other carriers spent tens of billions of dollars why wasn't all of this resolved in the past? So that's the big concern. Right? We shouldn't wait till a day or two before. So you're right. Right now, uh, as of uh, Thursday, January 20th, the FAA on their website is absolutely, uh, they put on there what you just read. 78% of the aircraft have been cleared. But that's not good enough. Pilots aren't being signed up. I mean, passengers aren't being signed up to be test pilots, right? So we need, I want the pilots associations, the operators and the manufacturers and the FAA all to be in agreement and get a thumbs up from everybody. So I'm not saying that anybody needs to panic, but I'm just saying that I'm in favor of the caution. And so until we get all parties in agreement uh, that safety is, everybody agrees that safety is number one. We need everybody to sign off that they're okay with the activation of 5G C-band before we can put this issue to rest. But wait, there's more. There's another agency also involved, the FCC, also involved in this. And 5G implementation has been on, on the airline industry's radar for years. So who is most at fault here when we break it all down? Well, you know, I, I, I hesitate and, and I wouldn't want to say who is at fault. Uh, I, I'll, I'll point something out that there is disagreement among major agencies. There's an agency called the Radio Technical uh, Commission for aeronautics. In 2020, they did uh, studies and tests of 5G C-band, and they indicated that there is a potential for interference. So uh, as opposed, not saying fault or what the motivation is for uh, the different carriers or the uh, telecom companies, what we need to do is we need to have everybody finally agree that it is safe. And as long as there is disagreement, we need the discussion to continue. And it is it is continuing at a fevered pace right now, which is a very good thing.
but we can't really, I don't want to put blame on anybody. I just want everybody to be in agreement and say, okay, all of our tests indicate that we're okay. I want, Boeing, I want the people that make the airplanes, Boeing and Airbus to agree. I want pilot associations, airline CEOs, and the FAA. Once everybody agrees, this issue will be put to rest. Well, maybe next time we talk to you, everyone will be in agreement in a perfect world. Bill Hensley, thank you so much for, for simplifying this for us. We appreciate your time tonight. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.